Today we're taking a look around this 1996 Subaru Legacy Grand Wagon. This is a naturally aspirated Legacy with the 2.5 liter flat 4 EJ25 engine. Right hand drive model imported from Japan. This one is all wheel drive with ABS. 1996 being one of the newer models we could get, this one has airbags, a lot more safety features uh, than the previous models. The Grand Wagon is more similar to the Legacy Outback that we had here in the US. It's a bit higher up, a little bit more ground clearance, you get the big fog lights in the front. And this is one of the highest trim levels, which gets a perforated Alcantara interior and some really nice seats. You can see, this is a classic old Subaru with the frameless windows. Grand Wagon printed on these seats and that perforated fabric, which is really nice. And these seats are in great shape. So this one has 164,000 kilometers. Starts right up. Airbag light should shut off. There it goes. Turn down the AC a little bit. AC works great. Heat also works great. The radio works here. That's the original radio. Subaru branded right there. Uh, this one's an automatic transmission. We brought this one in just to be a cool right hand drive vehicle for anyone that may need it for mail delivery or just the Japanese market version of this car if anyone is interested in that. Uh, you can see Subaru there, SRS airbag. This one does have the power folding mirrors. Both sides work. But it's pretty standard Subaru Legacy interior. This is a very familiar feeling car. Runs exactly like a Subaru should. Yeah, this one's in great shape in here. It also has heated mirrors. Uh, fog lights, turn on the lights there, hazards. You can see it has the really big fog lights in the front. We get the side markers as well. And a slightly different rear light that stretches all the way across. That's the difference between this and the USDM model. Go ahead and shut it off. We'll take a look in the back here. Again, in the back you've got that perforated material on the seats. These seats are in great shape, look like they've been barely been used. And the back row does fold down, like so. Uh, you get kind of a carpet that continues into this rear panel here. Um, so you've got a reasonably flat surface. It's not very flat with this front seat folded down like that, but it is good enough for most, most situations. And I don't believe, actually it might. It could be my mistake there. The bottom folds forward. may need to double check on that. Okay. All right, so I got the bottom of that seat folded forward and it does actually fold completely flat after you pull the headrest out. So you can see you get a nice extra cargo space back there. We also have a cargo cover all the way in the back here. Pulls out and locks it. So you can see it's actually a really long distance all the way up to the front seats there. So, you make really good use of space. And finally, we can take a look under the hood.
So this is pretty classic EJ25. This is the dual overhead cam model. We have the single overhead cam for this generation legacy in the US here. So this one has a slight power bump for the Japanese market. Timing belt was done at 100,000 kilometers. Uh, maintenance has been kept up with pretty well. It's really clean under here, newer battery. Everything looks great. And these are very easy to work on here in the US. A lot of people are really familiar with these engines. So that's about it with this 1996 Subaru Legacy Grand Wagon. You can check this out on the website, jdmcarandmotorcycle.com. Thank you for watching.